Nigeria's 2008 long job silver medalist Blessing Okagbari has been banned for 10 years for doping. The Athletics Integrity Unit AIU announced on Friday the sprinter was expelled from Tokyo Olympics last year before the women's 100 meter semi finals after testing positive for human growth hormone at an out of competition test in Slovakia on July 19. Okagbari was handed five years for the presence and use of multiple prohibited substances and five years for refusal to cooperate with the AIU's investigation into a case. Well, joining me to discuss this for the sports analyst, Esson Uludari, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what do you make of the AIU's decision to ban uh, Okagbari for 10 years? Uh, were you surprised or uh, was it expected on your part? Um, it was expected, but I was surprised by the, the length of the ban, especially the second uh, part of not cooperating with the, with the authorities. So that's, that's, that's a surprise. I think that is um, rather harsh. Um, I thought the first part would have even been longer than five years, and maybe the second part would have been like two years. So maybe in total, I was expecting something like six to seven years. But uh, to say that I wasn't expected, I think it's, it, it would not be right. Because the, the, the kind of evidence they have against her was damning. And the, the Eric Lira case in the U.S. hasn't helped matters again. Because we, we saw graphic details of what happened between her and Harry. Although that wasn't, that wasn't used in the case anyway. It, it was just to tell Nigerians that Blessing cannot be free from this. Because it was damning. in the world of um, athletics. But um, why do we keep seeing this um, issue all over again? Uh, do you not think it is high time um, this um, athletes actually learn a lesson uh, moving forward? Can they ever learn? You see, there's a saying in, in track of it that um, it is only those that have been caught that are guilty. What that means is that uh, a whole lot of them use performance enhancing drugs. But they are always, like they say, ahead of the testers. But definitely, sooner or later, the tester will catch up with them. And we've seen that several years. You remember the Marion Jones case, the THG uh, issue? If not that a whistleblower took the syringe of the drug to the U.S. Uh, Anti-Doping Agency, maybe Marion Jones and a few others that use THG would not have been busted. So that's why they say the, the drug users are always a step ahead of the testers. And but like the, like the saying also goes, that you will eventually be caught, no matter how long it takes. And I think that's what we are seeing now. And in the case of Blessing, I think it was more of a whistleblower revealing that she's on drug. Because normally, there are certain drugs that within a few hours, if you are not tested, it cannot be, it cannot be found on your body again. And I think that is the TAG that, that she took. But there was somebody that was snitching on her and that must have told them she has taken it this morning. And that's why they came in that evening around almost 6, almost 6 p.m. But that was when she was tested in Slovakia. So they came in and she was tested. So, and I'm sure, maybe she, maybe she must have been, she must have been, I, I don't know, um, been reassured by Lira that, forget it, nothing will come out of it. Because normally, for her to come to the Olympics and still be talking, be criticizing the Nigerian authority, knowing that she has just been tested in Slovakia, she felt maybe that um, the number of hours that she has taken it has covered, covered up for her. But unfortunately, it hasn't. And it's unfortunate because when you look at Blessing, she has, she has been Nigeria's best athlete in the, in the last 10 years. As is, I think it's even 208 when she won that uh, for teachers. Uh, uh, bronze later turn silver uh, in the long jump, and she's then she's been scoring a number of fours or equally a number of firsts. You know, she's one of only two athletes that have won medals at the Olympics and at the World Championship. I think the next, the other one is uh, uh, Gloria Lose. So she has done a lot for Nigeria. She won a Commonwealth double in the sprint. She's the only one to have won two medals at the World Championship, and uh, she has really done a lot. Well, sadly, is this much you can take? Our sports um, analyst, Asan Oludari, thank you very much uh, for your contribution.